Yo, I had to use fucking penetrating oil, bro, but I fucking finally got it out, man. This thing is heavy as hell, too. Oh my god. It has to be like 60 to 50 pounds. Alright, so what is going on, guys? We're back at it again with another video. And this video, you guys already know, by the title, Catback Exhaust Install, finally on the E36. It's been so long, but if I want to get inspection, I want everything done right to pass, I'm going to need that. So, yeah, plus who doesn't want a catback exhaust or just an upgrade exhaust from the stock exhaust anyway? So, that's what this video is going to be, and I am going to show my wiper relay. I'm just going to put that in there because I just bought it, and I was like, fuck it, why not? I'm going to put that in the video as well. So, hopefully this fixes my windshield wipers, and hopefully these work now. So, yeah, but other than that, it should be a great video. So, let's get in, let's go. You already know the homie Jason here. Had to pull up, had to pull up, brought the Civic out here with that VTEC. And uh, yeah, still got the plastic dip issue, still hasn't been resolved. I'm not really sweating it, honestly. I did get an emblem though, as you can see, but uh, yeah, I'm not really sweating it because I really don't care what people think and stuff like that out in public. So I'm going to get it fixed, but other than that, I mean, it's just, it doesn't do anything. It's not like it's adding horsepower or anything, so or losing horsepower is like I would say but uh yeah let's get this going though and uh yeah you can actually see the exhaust I actually took it out the box because I had to pick it up from the actual post office because for some reason they would not deliver it to my house I don't know why but anyways they just would not deliver it and uh yeah so I took it out the box it was just so much room and it was just annoying and I couldn't see out the window but I took out the box and then I had to make sure that I had the bolts because I threw out my bolts last year when I did like the ghetto straight pipe alternative video that's pretty much retarded but uh yeah so that's what i got going on so i'm gonna take it out the packaging the film wrap whatever you want to call it bubble wrap then install in the car and then do this windshield wipe relay thing and uh hopefully i will have a better car sounding honestly wise but let's see fuck it why not dude all right guys now as you can see here is the windshield wiper relay hopefully this fixes my actual windshield wiper problem i actually have fresh windshield wipers too that i bought because i really want this car to be you know great because it's my only car it's my daily right now plus it's a drift build so other than that i mean i just I have to make sure that it's straight regardless of having a drift car right now i have to at least be able to fucking see at night and shit like that that's why i bought headlights and Reason why I'm buying all that shit first, you know what I'm saying? Versus getting coilovers and wheels and all that bullshit. It's because this is my only car. So if I didn't have, you know, if I had two cars, then maybe I'll just blow it all on coilovers or something like that. But right now, I have to make sure that it's driving right and everything is straight. Reason why I bought this, even though it's 20 bucks, I could have done something else with that. But I decided to get this. And because I need to fucking see anyway when it comes to fucking the rain. But uh, hopefully this works. Hopefully it's my problem. If you're wondering what the hell is going on when the windshield wipers, basically when I turn the car on, I don't know if you watch my old videos, but my windshield wipers would turn on. I think my first video with the short shifter, I showed it. Basically, if you turn my car on, the windshield wipers will flap and it would just keep going for like 20 seconds and then it will stop. And then you have to wait like five minutes and then it starts back up and then last 30 seconds. It's just the whole interval and it's like a, it's a, like a quick pattern. Like it's literally exact five minutes i think i timed it every five minutes almost it does it and you can use it for 30 seconds but it's pointless when it's raining hard i mean what's 30 seconds when a second after it stops you can't see so that sucks so hopefully that gets fixed and uh yeah how do you feel functionality over aesthetics hey yeah i 100 percent agree bro if you got 200 hundred dollar rims right you need a ball joint <laughs> you're fucking your fucking wheels about to fall off. Yeah. You're, you're turning. You're, you're stupid. You're <laughs> fucked, bro. You're fucked. <laughs> All right, guys. What you're seeing here is me being fucked over. Basically, uh, this is the wiper control module. I just put this in. It didn't have one in there in the first place. It was completely gone. There's a ton of shit gone. I'm pretty sure this is my airbag sensor, blah, blah, blah. And that's the reason why my airbag doesn't work is because somebody took it off. Don't know what the fuck happened there, but yeah, I'm dealing with that shit. And uh, I can't even find the wiper control module connector. I'm pretty sure they probably ripped it off or deleted it. Whoever did it, I don't know what was the reasoning behind it, but I cannot find it. Uh, and yeah, that's the reason why my wipers don't work in the first place is because of that. And I'm just going to have to put it back together and uh, just work on the exhaust. So just want to let you guys know. So I'm pretty much fucked over on that note, and I'm never going to have a bunch of wipers 
Well, I wouldn't say never, but right now it's it's I just can't figure this shit out. But uh, wish me luck on that note. But let's get into the exhaust though, because I already know I can do that at least. But yeah. All right, guys. Right now I'm gonna show you how it sounds currently with the muffler delete. You can call it whatever you want. It's basically just a straight pop alternative, wherever the fuck you want to call it. Link in bio to that video if you want to see it. But I'm gonna show you how it sounds currently, and then. After the video is done and we're done, blah, 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 I'm going to show you how it sounds with the cat back installed. So let's get in. Let's go. Alright, guys. The car is on all four jack stands. Well, two jack stands and then one actual jack. I just like to even out the weight, stuff like that. I have jack stands, don't worry, three tons each. So we should be meant for that go. And uh, yeah, so we're good on that go. Let's get it, let's go. All right guys, I'm just about pretty much done removing the stock exhaust. Right now all I'm doing is just taking out the bolts. And I'm trying to find my socket that I was using. Oh, it's already on here. Wear goggles. Ugh. Yo, I had to use fucking penetrating oil, bro, but I fucking finally got it out, man. This thing is heavy as hell, too. Oh, my God. It has to be like 60 to 50 pounds. Nah, maybe like 45. Nah, I'd say 50. This is about 50 pounds, dude. It's so heavy. Ugh. It's out, though. All right. All right, guys. I literally just finished. It took hours I literally started at 4.30, it's like 9.30 right now, so it's about a five hour job, but it's literally only takes like two hours, but fuck with me, it always takes longer. But I'm super excited, and I only wanna do it right now, it's just honestly just started, so let's get it, let's go. Sounds so much better from that loud ass, raspy ass exhaust leak that I had before. It's softer and it's not as loud, but honestly, I love it way better than how it was before. And uh, yeah, that's all I can honestly say about that. Please forgive me for the bad quality, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very in depth and good read edits and all that stuff. I'm like super tired right now, and I'm just honestly happy that I finished the job take my stuff off jack stands, put everything back together and call it a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now that's a wrap guys, so stay sleazy. And as always, have a great day. We're out. Oh, as you can see, this turned out to be a gone wrong video. I'm pretty 